Who wants some tea? Who wants some tea? for Benares, Varanasi, with the North East Express. Benares is better known as Varanasi, its Indian name. And here are the new models of the Indian middle class. Before men used to wear the dhoti, but now they want Western underwear. Traditional dhoti. Traditional Indian uh, string. I'm not going to wear it now because I'm in the street. I have already uh, <laughs> the public. <laughs> the traditional wrestlers. If you want to go inside, you have to take off your shoes because this place is a holy place for them. And as you can see, they are almost all wearing the traditional underwear. Mr. Shola is a Brahman. His family business is the last holdout here. Big brands flood the market and often bring outsourcing. This machine is running automatically. If any thread, yes. it will break. Or if there will be any problem in the machine, it will stop like this. Can I touch ah. the Yes, sir. The cotton? Why, why not? Why not? The cotton is really beautiful, huh? Uh, out of uh, one and a half ton of fabric, you can produce about uh, 2,500 pieces ah. of ga garments every day. And today? Yeah. All Indian people want oh, every, uh, this kind I, of I, new I, underwear? I think, yes, everybody uh, uh, in, in villages also, rural area, yes. in, in cities, everywhere people are using this. How did you like this? Yeah, love huh? it. It's very beautiful, <laughs> the scenery. How much an operator is paid? This is different, you see. Yeah. Uh, it starts from 3,000 yeah. up to six, seven, eight thousand. 8,000. Per month? Yes, per month. When you select someone, you don't care about uh, his caste, for example. Hmm? Do you care about uh, the people's caste when you when you take someone for work with you? Uh, when they are working, I couldn't understand. You know the caste system? Yeah? Caste? The yes. caste system in India? Yes, I, I don't you know. You don't know? No. Okay, it's okay. Caste? Caste, you said? This is my son. I saw son. Ah, ah, he has he has done modeling for our our company. Free of charge. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> the underwear are assembled in another unit, but here I show you the final product. This is the ladies' panties mm -hmm. we are manufacturing. And you see, uh, in India, ladies uh, in rural area, uh, they were not using panties. So, because it was expensive in the cities. Yeah. So, we produced this panties. These are very cheap for rural, rural uh, ladies only. And now, its consumption has gone very high yes. in uh, rural area also. So, how much do you sell this? Uh, about uh, 15 rupees, 14 rupees. And this is your daughter? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this is from the computer, you see. <laughs> now I want to introduce you this boy. You see, his father, he was working with Hello. us a long back. And uh, now he's no more, his father. But still he's working, he's buying uh, fabric from us, from here. Yeah. And uh, uh, taking along to his village. And there he do, uh, does everything himself with his family. 
New fashion trends, new jobs. One hour from the city, Mr. Ashok has developed a small side business in the middle of the countryside. Look at the wall. You have advertising for the underwear, even in the, in the suburbs, in the rural area. This way, ma'am. It's my wife and our aunt. I'll show you where I work. I work here. And also here. And ironing is over there. I produce six dozen tank tops a day and I sell them at the Chendari market. I think the last time I did this was at school when I was a child. Okay? Here are the famous ghats of Varanasi. Varanasi is one of the holiest cities in India, near the Gange River, a sacred river. And it's also the place of death. Many Indian people wish to come to Varanasi to die because they believe that if you die here, you will be free from the reincarnation cycle. So you see this house with the two tigers? It belongs to a very, very special family in Varanasi, a very powerful family, which takes care of the sacred fire, with the cremation fire. The sacred fire. Its flame has been kept alive for several decades by the family of the Dom Raja, literally the king of the untouchables. In India, no time is wasted when it comes to incinerating a body after death, so negotiations around the fire are brisk. A sacred business, this business of death. The flame has no fixed price, and everyone negotiates according to their means and their caste. Mr. Sharad is my contact in Varanasi. Without him, it would have been impossible for me to reach the Dome Raja. In fact, it's extremely rare that a camera can enter his palace. Shall we wait here? Or? Passed down through bloodlines, Dom Raja's power and wealth is a paradox in the caste system. Namaste. Thank you so much for receiving us. I'm very impressed, so I don't know what to say. Um, you're a king? This is your palace? Yeah, I've got palace. He's low caste, but at the same time he is a king and a very powerful person. So how do, do the people behave with him? At home, I am the king, but outside, I am just a normal person. I don't feel superior or inferior. Do you see a lot of changes in, uh, in Indian society? Times are changing. Before, some time ago, no one would have touched me or taken something directly from my hands. But now, people are more modern. It seems that they are less afraid to touch me. May I ask him if he is uh, very rich? <laughs> no. Before, when people came, they gave us gold, jewelry, land. If a member of the royal family died, they gave us land and cars. Now, 95% of the people give us cash. For your children, if they would have the choice, would you like them to have uh, the possibility to do other things? If my son wants to be an engineer, I wouldn't have any objections. If that's what he wants, if someone in the family wants to do something else, something that would give us a good reputation in Benares or in India, that's okay with me. 
What do you have here? It's Shiva. So, Your Majesty, I will go now. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I say goodbye to the elusive Dom Raja with a simple handshake, a handshake which means a great deal to an untouchable, even if he's a king. Varanasi is the only place in India where the cremation fires burn 24 hours a day. The dead arrive at all hours and from all over the country. Dom Raja's family shares the job of watching over the flame, the fee negotiations. Each family member takes home the wages from his tour of duty. The entire neighborhood is devoted to death. It's a world apart here. Yeah. It's special because it's sacred and at the same time it's business. Sure. It's completely... For someone it is a business, for someone it is sentiment, mm. for someone it is a custom. Every day at sunset, in the ghat next to the cremations one, the universal energy, the great cycle of living and dying, is celebrated. If many things have changed in India, others remain the same. Will there always be a king of the untouchables in Benares? <laughs>